94.3 The Ox. It's Nate Barnes and you ain't pretty on your Monday ride. 43 degrees on the outside. Headed for a high of 68. Time for Coffee Talk. Brought to you by the Comanche Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture. Check them out at hashtag explore. You know they're looking at you on Facebook, right? Those goofy looks you're giving me, everybody's seeing. <laughs> Check them out at hashtag explore Comanche, Texas. We welcome in Cynthia Newton and the whole crew. We got them all this morning. Caleb, Dakota, and Quanta. Good morning, guys. How we doing? Good. All right. <laughs> Good morning, Kyle. All, it's Monday. It's brought them in here all jacked up on donuts. I know. Sugar high. You are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> We're going to share the wealth with Kyle this morning. We'll That's just right. go on in. That's right. So this morning, we are on Thanksgiving break. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> As many families are this week. And my kids and I have been talking a lot about um, the holidays in light of crazy faces. <laughs> and, and, all right, calm down. Okay, we're, we've been talking a lot about the holidays and especially um, what it means through kids, especially maybe if they've lost loved ones. Okay. Sure. Last week I talked a lot about, or talked about, you know, how to get through the holidays, um, how to, how to keep some normalcy. Maybe, you know, if you've lost somebody that you love and this past year or, you know, several years past and, and what do you do? So today, um, my, my kids have been touched by loss this past year, uh, as well. And, um, we've talked a little bit about, you know, they, they would like to express some things that maybe might be important. For kids to help get through the holidays to help sure. remember the loved ones that they've lost and um, then you know I mean and guys this is this is through the eyes of kids this is not me coaching them this no. is not this is truly things that you know if you've got kids out there and, and they've lost somebody or they've gone through a difficult time this past year and that person is not going to be with you for whatever reason you know you might think about this um, in, in just ways you know you you're probably grieving but think about the kids and how it might be affecting them especially somebody that may be a, an integral part of your your normal holiday sure. uh, season so I'm going to start with um, one of these boys <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to say some things that they've thought about of, of things to help remember um, their grandpa, who's not with us this year uh, yeah. for the holidays. So, um, who? okay, you want to go first, Quana? You do? Okay. So, Quana, how old are you? Five. You are five? What grade are you in? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Okay. And you lost grandpa this year, right? He died? Yeah. Okay, so what are some things that, that we can do as a family to help remember Grandpa and not be sad this holiday season um, that he's not with us? Paint a special ornament and play organ and do a special uh, present. Do a special present, hang a special ornament on the tree, and, and, pray, pray, for and pray for them. Okay, all right, good job. Uh, all right, Dakota. How old are you? Ten. You are ten, and what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth grade. Okay. So, what is something that that we can do to help remember Grandpa that will help you this year? One thing that would help us remember our Grandpa is <coughs> play his, play the favorite singer and someone sit in his seat. Let him be in your heart. Let him be in your heart. Play their special singer. Like yeah. music? Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? Okay. Do you remember what I told you because you asked me what that grandpa's... Was Kelvis Presley. Kelvis Presley? How about Elvis Presley? <laughs> oh, Kelvis. I Close him. enough. <laughs> Alright, Caleb, how old are you? Twelve. What grade are you in? Sixth. Okay, so what are some things that we can do to help remember grandpa this year? Nobody sits in his chair. Okay. So he had us, but he had a chair that he always sat in at the meals, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything else that you thought of? No. Okay. All right. What? 
Dakota thought of something else. What? Rita, Rita, always read the Christmas story and someone take his spot and read the Christmas story out of the Bible. Oh. Yeah, she got you with that one, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mommy, how do I put this back on? Wait, we'll do it in a minute. So, yeah, that was Grandpa's, um, Grandpa always read the Christmas story on Christmas <laughs> Eve. That was his thing, and, yeah, hey, that, hey, that, hey, one, that one cheered me, me up there, there so. <laughs> okay. This is the joy of five-year-olds in the radio station. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. Somebody, you know, and that, that that's kind of what I was talking about, I think, last week, is you may have special traditions um, that maybe that individual did. Sure. And, you know, it's kind of like you kind of have to pass the torch of who's going to do that now. Um, and, and, you know, not just dropping them, but, um, you know, continuing them on. Um, right. You know, it's really important. Sometimes it's hard. You know, you may not want to this year because it, it is difficult. But you got to remember the kids, okay, and especially the kiddos. And that they're grieving, too, and they may not be able to express it the same way that we as adults can. Right. But... Um, you know, it's real important to do things that are going to help them. Um, I like some of the things they came up with. Um, Kwana, Kwana, we talked about the gift and the, uh, especially the ornament. Um, mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, will get special ornaments in memory sure. of their loved ones. Um, uh, and that's kind of a really neat thing to do. I know we did that in Europe. And, um, that was, that was real important for us as a family to keep that, um, <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna like get teared up here. This is this is this is this is a little more difficult for me than I thought it would be this morning. <laughs> I am human after all. <laughs> but Guana, shh. And 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 guys, I mean, you know, sometimes starting new things is always a good thing. I know that there's people and this is some things that I've talked about and learned over the years, um, that, you know, maybe um Maybe they've written a special memory about their loved one. Well, he's all right. <laughs> okay, I'm making sure. No, what he's doing back he's just there? Just drawing pictures on the dry erase. Right? He's okay. <laughs> but maybe there's a special memory that that you know, or that you can have, and maybe y'all have a special place that a is everybody comes in, they write a memory down, and you take a, a time during the 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 gathering to to share memories about that loved one. I mean, that's a really great thing too. Um, I know that you know Christmas time. Was <laughs> I mean, in a bit, in a few weeks. Um, but, you know, I mean, maybe hang a stocking for them and putting yeah. memories in, in them as well. So just re just realize that you're going to grieve. It's natural. You know, you don't have to hide it. You know, do things special for you, special for your family. Um, you know, don't just pretend like everything's normal because it's not going to be. It's yeah. going to be different this year. Yeah. Um, so, you know, take advantage of that to help kids to help everybody understand the point of grief um, you know guys we're, we're here for you at Hope Counseling of Texas as always um, you know if there's anything we can do to help you through whatever you might be going through through this holiday season um, or anything I mean just know that we're here we've got offices in Comanche Eastland Dublin do y'all know the other one Hamilton Hamilton Look at See, that. my kids know <laughs> <laughs> In Hamilton. All right, so just know where we got four office locations. We're always here, 325 356 1105. And uh, we accept pretty much all insurances. So if you've got, you know, if you don't have insurance, we'll also work with you according to that. So again, 325 356 1105, or find us on Facebook um, or on the web. Um, anyway, is there anything else that y'all want to say? Of course there is, because they don't stop talking. <laughs> Everybody have a good holiday. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Everybody have a good year. A good, a good year. year. That too. Get a jump on that. <laughs> Throw that in there. All right, Cynthia Newton with Hope Counseling. Thanks so much for coming by. I'm bringing Caleb, Dakota, and Quanta by. You guys take it easy on Ma this week, all right? Okay. Look, look at try. them. They're like, yeah, yeah, we're going to. We got this. Thank you. Well, are you still recording yet? Yes. Hey, <laughs> 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 <laughs>